Here the question is: A wholesaler sells printer cartridges. The minimum order quantity is five. There is a twenty percent discount for orders of one hundred or more printer cartridges. You have been asked to prepare test cases using various values for the number of printer cartridges ordered. Which of the following groups contain three test inputs that would be generated using boundary value analysis? And these are the options. Now let's draw the boundary value analysis diagram. As per the question, the minimum order quantity is five. That is why five is the lower boundary. And as per the question, we have to give twenty percent discount for orders of one hundred or more printer cartridges. That is why one hundred is the upper boundary. With this, the boundary value diagram is ready. Now let's analyze each option one by one. Option A is five, six, twenty. Option B is four, five, eighty. Option C is four, five, ninety-nine. Option D is one, twenty. One hundred. Now, as per the question, we have to find which of the following groups contain three test inputs that would be generated using boundary value analysis. In option A, five and six are at boundary, but twenty is not at boundary. In option B, four and five are at boundary, but eighty is not at the boundary. In option C, four and five. At the lower boundary, and ninety-nine is at upper boundary, because at one hundred and above twenty percent discount is given. In option D, one and twenty are not in the boundary, and one hundred is at the boundary. So, from the analysis, it is clear that option C is the answer.